got an exam question walkthrough here for structure determination. The question looks at cis-trans isomerism, empirical formula, mass spectrometry and fragmentation, and infrared spectroscopy. Remember to give a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to stay in touch with future content, and if you want to leave a comment if you'd like to see a particular topic covered in a future video. Okay, so here's the question. I managed to fit it all on one slide. So if you want to just pause the video now, have a go at the question, and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So for the answers, what I've done is split all the key bits of information on the separate slides, and I'm just going to talk through the kind of things that I would recommend that you say for this type of question, and then we'll pull it all together at the end and come up with a structure and hopefully you'll see how it all ties together. So the first thing we're told is that F is a trans stereoisomer. So what does that tell us? It must be an alkene with the same atom or group of atoms diagonally opposite each other on the carbon-carbon double bond. So in other words, we've got the same atom or group, say pointing up here and pointing down there. Next bit of information is the percentage composition by mass. So obviously that's an empirical formula calculation. So knock up a table and one column for each atom, put in your percentages, divide by the relative atomic mass, that gives you the moles. Remember to give it the three significant figures at least here, and then you get your ratio, but don't leave those numbers just floating around in midair. Tie it all together by saying empirical formula is therefore C4H6O. So if we move on to the infrared spectrum now, there are two key regions I would recommend you look at. So around about the 3000 centimetres to minus one region, so here, what we're looking for is a broad-ish absorption, which would indicate the presence of an OH. If it's an alcohol, it's going to be sort of higher up and sort of have this sort of shape. Well, it doesn't have that. So we haven't got the OH of an alcohol. And an OH of a carboxylic acid is very broad. It starts at about 2,500 and it goes all the way to sort of nearly 3,500. Well, we haven't got that. These are just CHs. And so therefore, what we can say is we don't have an OH. So I would actually write that on the spectrum. The next key region is this one here. So that's indicative of a C double bond O. So what can we say from that? Compound F is likely to be an aldehyde or a ketone. So moving on to the mass spectrum now, the first peak you should look at is the one with the highest M over Z value, so obviously this one here. So what's that telling us? That's the molecular ion peak. Is it M over Z 70? So the MR of F is 70. So then what we can do now is tie that in with the empirical formula. Remember that was C4H6O. Well, that adds up to 70. So the molecular formula must also be um, C4H6O. So you need to be really clear about where, how you're linking all the evidence together. The next thing we're told is in the mass spectrum, the peak with the greatest relative intensity, this one here, is caused by the loss of a functional group from the molecular ion compound F. So basically, the um, something breaks off, a functional group breaks off the molecule and creates this peak here. So we're interested in what's the drop in mass, and that's going to give us the mass of the functional group. So it's lost 29 going from uh, 70 to 41. And so therefore, it's likely to be a CHO. So that adds up to 29, 12 plus 1 plus 16. Now you might also be thinking that C2H5, so an ethyl, that's a common fragment, um, that can break off a molecule. That does have a mass of 29, so two carbons, 24 plus 5 for those five hydrogens. So it does have a mass of 29, but it's not a functional group. So that drop in 29 to create that fragment peak there is most likely to be due to the loss of the CHO group. So therefore, compound F is now looking like it's an aldehyde. Okay, so we're going to put that all together now and come up with a structure. So we know that the molecular formula is C4H6O. We know it's a trans isomer, and so the structure is that there. 
So now we've got the structure on the screen, you can see we've got the CHO group, so that C double bond dose caused the um, infrared absorption at around about 1700 centimetres to the minus one. Fragmentation, so when that breaks off there, that, that's broken off, so that's the loss of 29. The peak at 41 would be due to this fragment here with a positive charge. And you can see clearly the trans um, configuration. So we've got the hydrogens, the identical atoms are diagonally opposite each other on the carbon-carbon double bond.